like you said yes. indrani you you are sheena bora's mother yes. okay and you, yes. you you made it a point to emphasize that uh, and i think that's important because yes. that goes to the heart of also how this story was treated yes. uh, you know how newsroom looked at the story how yes. people made up their minds about you as well yes. and this and the case isn't over yet and you've yes. chosen to come out uh, and you know speak in this documentary that's coming up as well my question to you is uh, you know you say you frankly don't know what happened you don't know if she's alive yes. or she's gone yes uh, and this is your child we're talking about yes. so I, i i mean this with the greatest degree of sensitivity aware that you yes. are the mother my question to you is what do you think happened to her you you know after all these years it's been a decade now actually more than a decade because she disappeared in 2012 what do you think happened uh, what shiv, happened to sheena who do you think did something to her shiv uh, i you know think there are people in the family who are aware what has happened to sheena okay i'm i am absolutely Peter. convinced about this in fact i filed an application in court to that effect okay so i don't want to see until and unless i do not have concrete evidence but you mean peter oh well i shall not say that right now but definitely because um, i have reasons to believe that and not just reasons because i think because i think there is enough evidence which has already come on record mm. and there is even more evidence which we will put forward from you know our defense side right. and which i cannot obviously uh, you know show my cards at this yeah. my, when i say my cards means you know the defense cards as of now i cannot talk about it but coming back to the dna aspect when you said that uh, you know why don't we ask for another dna test obviously the first body that was allegedly there was a body which was discovered in 2012 uh there is no dna report of that so that that goes in 2015 apparently another body which was discovered so there was allegedly a dna test which matched my blood sample yeah. now of course when the dna expert came uh you know to depose now it turned out to be something completely different because he admitted to have changed you know the allele numbers in the electropharogram mm-hmm. to which ultimately ended up matching with in his own handwriting because an elect- electropharogram is always machine printed only so you cannot just scratch out and okay this is indrani mukherjee's dna report okay so this has so it is 15 allele numbers so these allele numbers are coordinates the x and y coordinates okay so yeah. you're basically saying that the 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 dna test the, the basically the claim by the prosecution that this was sheena's body you've basically your 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 putting that entirely into doubt because of the way it's handled I am not putting no, it into doubt are you doubt. saying you're being framed says, are you absolutely. saying you're being framed absolutely i said this i think but on the by night. who but by who it has to be you know is it a bunch of people is it your family what is the motive to frame you in this see motives i think uh, can be several okay so uh, it could be financial it could be personal see I'm t- i don't know what goes on in somebody else's head and for what reasons but i can tell you yeah. for sure for sure because there were things that happened immediately on the day of my arrest or after my arrest which over a period of time uh, made me realize you know that i was definitely property um, titles shifting etc uh, lots of things lot of things which i mean come on you know you um, you don't decide on the day a family member gets arrested all you can think of is writing an email to the society to stop transfers i mean it's just there are there are several things okay so so you, you there are several things which have made me believe over a period of time that definitely i was framed and somebody okay. very very close to me hmm. obviously indrani you know you talked about how it's possibly financial or personal you don't uh, you, you claim not to know what the reason could be uh, but i want to come to one of the most personal things that you revealed some months ago and you talk about it for the first time in much greater detail in this documentary uh, which is uh, who sheena bora really was mm-hmm. that she was uh, uh, you know your child from your own father That's it was correct. a product of rape uh, and uh, uh, you know it was a very very traumatic uh you know episode in your life 
and that you had moved away from it. Uh, my question to you is, when did, when did you break it to your family? Uh, and I'm talking about your family with Peter Mukherjee. When did they come to know that Sheena is not your sister but your daughter? Uh, because actually, that appears to have been part of how this entire episode unfolded. And that was very much part of the whole shock value. I remember right. being in the office when there was actually a breaking news story saying right. Sheena isn't Indrani's yeah, yeah. sister. She's yeah. her daughter. Yeah. So uh, let me now when you said uh, Peter's family, okay, now the only person obviously who knew about it as far as I have communicated in Peter's family is Peter. Mm. He knew and about it throughout. Of course throughout. he knew about it and I think uh, there so is... So at no point did he think that Sheena is no, your uh, no, sister? No, no, no. So uh, that is something uh, which I think there is enough evidence to back that mm, up mm. and I think from somebody from your channel itself I think it was Vidya yeah I remember correctly a uh, crime uh, reporter in Mumbai yes, yes. in uh, your crime reporter in Mumbai Vidya when uh, Rahul Mukherjee was uh, finished his trial and uh, she caught him actually mm. and Rahul Mukherjee has come on record to say that even he knew that she was uh, always my daughter mm. and uh, you know, so it is, uh, you know, very strange that, you know, people made such a big... Uh, so you're saying everyone knew she was see, your daughter? I don't know about everyone. I cannot say that about everyone because on record, on record, when we talk about official records, she is, uh, you know, like my, the daughter of my parents, mm. right? Because yeah. you know the background, how she was adopted and... You've, yes, I think, yes. yeah, yeah, I've written it in my book and it's in the chart sheet as well right. that she was adopted when she was a baby.